I'm going to mount some uh, <clears throat> new lights to light the side of the, the road when I'm up in the mountains. Uh, there's a fair amount of nighttime driving and whenever you're trying to take a turn you can't see if you're turning into a ditch. So I have these lights and I'm going to mount them. Now I had them mounted on a different bumper before it got crunched here to the side but this time I'm going to mount them more towards the front on the bend and the reason is that when it was on the side here the lights um, tended to point too much to the side and then they left a little bit of a dark spot um, leading into the turn so I want to try and avoid that this time and bring them a little farther forward than I had them last time so I'm going to make some measurements and uh, try to come up with a good position for the lights and put them even consistent on each side so let me uh, get started on that right now <coughs> goes hole number two.
just like that. I'm going to get the light and I'll put that in so you can see what that is going to look like. And here I'm applying some masking tape to uh, cover the rest of the bumper so that I can paint the freshly cut metal of the hole. I'm gonna put uh, little pieces of tape to form a circle with about an eighth inch or so of space on the sides and then I'll spray paint over that and the paint will cover and then go uh, uh, have an eighth inch on the existing face of the bumper on the inside and the outside as you see here. Maybe I should show this. See here the grommet slides into the hole that you drilled and then there's this lip here that goes in and that uh, holds it into the hole. Okay, this is the other light back side this is the bottom so we're going to line this light here up with the top there we go that is what it looks like so we are four and a quarter inches in and from the bend we're about three quarters of an inch down and over on this side we are four and a quarter inches in and three quarters of an inch down perfect Okay, so now i got to figure out what I'm going to do now. Grooving. Okay, so we are back at it, and I'm going to put some free uh, conductor wire into some quarter-inch split loom, and then I'm going to fish that across under the uh, dash or under the grill. Right, let's see if I can go through here. So this is just going to slide it across the bumper. Okay, and then we're going to use these insulated spade connectors. There's a male and a female. Okay, and here is our crimp connector. This is made by Klein Tools. You see that crimp into the half circle. This is one of the best crimp connectors you can get. Okay, so let's put that in there. And we're gonna connect up the positive. These crimp connectors make a connection that never fails. Okay. And here is the female connector for the other side. 
So let's just get that in position. And now we'll put it on the red here. one side is done okay so it is now dark and I can demonstrate how the lights are gonna work so first I'll show the ditch lights See that that light lights things up pretty good. And then the headlights. With the ditch lights. So you can see that that is going to work pretty good driving down the mountain roads. Then let me just show you what it looks like out here. So you can see that it lights up pretty good.